guys, it's Parmes. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you're back, welcome back. Today I'm gonna talk about the newest trends, 2019 fashion, high fashion trends. First trend is the bucket hats. Luxury bucket hats, it could be like feathery ones. I'm going to get a heart attack. The 90s bucket hats are back. I've seen it on a few luxurious brands like Tom Ford, Anna Sui. Also, floppy oversized bucket hats. Bucket hats can add a lot to your overall outfit. Let's say you just throw on a jean and just a normal top and then you put on that bucket hat, some nice jewelry on, you're good to go. It's chic and it's, it has a luxurious reboot to it. The second trend that I'm going to talk about is puffy power shoulders. We all have different body types. This trend is personally not for everybody because some of us might have a broad shoulder and you don't want to make that bigger and you want to have a balanced body when you're dressing up. So if you have a small shoulder and you have a big hips or you have a curvy body, this is perfect for you. Or if you have a petite upper body, this is a go-to. I would invest on it. The third trend is yellow yol. I don't know how I feel about this. Some yellows are good. Depends on your under skin tone color. I feel like some people look great in yellow. Some people just don't. Depends on you. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's a warm color and for winter, if you're wearing a warm color, make you stand out more. The fourth trend is neon. It could be like highlighter heels or neon on clothes. I've been really vibing with the lime green and the highlighter look. I feel like it brings a lot of attention to you, makes you stand out, but I feel like you shouldn't overdo it. If you're on a low budget, I wouldn't really invest on it because it's not a trend that I don't think it's gonna be there for a long time. It's here for a good time, not a long time, you know? But if you're a fan of a statement accessory, this would be great for you to invest. I got this choker from Melody Asani on Melrose. It has some of the future, like the pastel, neon type of look to it. It could go with a lot of things. It can make a simple outfit look cool. I don't know. The fifth trend, it's beige and nude colors. Some of you might love it. Yes, if you're a nude fan, it is back. It's it's great. I'm really not like a nudish fan. I like it sometimes, but I like more of a black and just colors. I, I'm more of a color person, so this is not really my thing, but it could go a lot with a lot of people. I don't think this is gonna go out of style because it's super simple and classic. It's a classic trend, so if you wanna invest on it, go ahead. I encourage you. Trend number six, tight pleats, like kind of like what I'm wearing right now, or feathers. A lot of feathers and a lot of silhouette and tight pleats was in the runways of 2019, fall and winter. This will give you a very feminine look. This one is designed by me. It's like... This style will give you a more of a feminine look. I'm not sure how long this will be on trend. If you end up not using it, you can always wear it for Coachella. Number seven, it's tie-dye, unfortunately. Yeah, I really don't like this trend. This is not my thing. I feel like every time I think of tie-dyes, I think of like every YouTuber's merch, but it could be good. It's more of a gypsy look. Yeah, I personally don't really like it, but I'm gonna have a new tutorial of how to make a tie-dye very soon. My own way, kind of more like a classic, not like all over colors. I wouldn't go for a lot of colors in one shirt because it's like super hard to mix and match it with a lot of things trend number eight is utility worker kind of look summer waterproof this has a lot of like 90s type of coats and like oversized it's more of a leather plastic type of look i've seen it on mark jacobs i've seen it on a bunch of brands i kind of like it depends what you wear it with Number nine is fringing. Fringe and a lot of cowboy is super in. Cowboy boots, ca cowboy hats. This one is one of my kind of favorite. I didn't think I'm gonna like this so much, but it can go really well if you know how to style it properly. I would go for it. I don't know how long this trend will last, but I feel like it gives you a very cool kind of look. I've seen it some on Dolls Kill. I'm gonna link it down below. 
Number 10 is my absolute favorite trend. It's puffer jackets, oversized jackets. These are super cool. It adds a lot to your street style. You can find some on Forever 21, Topshop, or Cheap. I've seen it on Nordstrom. I feel like 2019 is more of a mixture of a 90s look and 80s neon and colorful kind of look mixed together futuristic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new to here yeah make sure make sure to subscribe bye goodbye this is awful